it's cloudy because it's overhyped and the supply side of internet is largely at the mercy of governments. But then again, governments come to events like this, like WSIS, and they paint a rosy picture as if flowers are blooming everywhere. It is not. And the reason is, governments are still locked into telecommunication, and governments have miserably failed to differentiate between telecommunications and internet. That is the, from macro policy level, that is the fundamental difference. It is all about having access to the high-speed internet and the supply of bandwidth. Um, te Telegeography, that's a, that's a research organization based in Washington, D.C., and according to them, the wholesale price of internet bandwidth across Asia, the wholesale median price, not real, is six times more expensive than Europe and U.S. And the reason is Asia, despite being the world's largest landmass, the countries are interconnected like they are in an archipelago. It's all submarine cable. So infrastructure poses the biggest threat to the affordability of internet bandwidth. Now mind it, the story doesn't end at bandwidth. It's bandwidth as well as latency. So you need to provide high-speed bandwidth and at the same time, you need to reduce the latency. To meet this challenge, the industry and the governments, they all have to have a very clear understanding all about internet. It's not about taking a snapshot from here and there and jumping into a conclusion.